The state is currently cracking down on illegal ponds, places where water has been diverted without water rights. It's technically stealing from downstream rights holders. Now firefighters are saying, hold on a second. The ponds may be illegal, but they're also helpful to have to fight fires. Our Steve Steger explores a possible solution. Firefighters for Platte Canyon Fire already have to go pretty far for the water they need to fight fire. We have to truck all the water in with us. We don't have hydrant systems. So what the ponds mean to us is that's our water source. So fire Chief Ben source. Mulligan is talking about the ponds scattered throughout the fire district. We probably use our, our water sites, um, I would say on average, a monthly basis. A great resource that began disappearing a few years ago. And I started driving by the, the, the local ponds and I saw, whoa, what's going on here? Why are they all drained? The answer has a lot to do with the law that governs water in Colorado. The state's water engineer recently began cracking down on ponds, ordering some of them to be drained. The argument, ponds like this steal water from downstream users who technically have a right to it. You're preventing that water from getting to the senior uh, water rights holders or uh, to the stream itself where it would be available for other people to appropriate uh, to beneficial use. Dick Brown is a lobbyist representing several different water districts in Colorado. Water, as you know, is, is a scarce resource. Uh, and in, in the arid west, uh, it is even more scarce uh, than other places. State lawmakers are considering a bill that would allow county commissioners to ask the state water engineer to protect ponds used specifically for firefighting resources. No one argues with that because how can you argue against fire protection? Though one of Brown's clients, the Upper Arkansas Water Conservation District, has one concern. It is inconsistent with uh, the way we have applied water law under a variety of Supreme Court decisions for, you know, more than a century. They hope for an amendment to encourage counties to buy other water supplies that backfill the system, adding a different source of water back to make up for what the fire ponds take out, allowing firefighters to keep the ponds they so desperately need. We support the effort in, in you know, saving these ponds uh, just because we already have limited resources. And we already have for next, I'm Steve Steger. This fire pond bill does have bipartisan support. It's already passed the state Senate. It's now making its way through the state house.